Hello guys, welcome to another video and in this video we are going to import and edit this beautiful HTML email template on our Gmail. So before get started, we need a Chrome extension called let me show you this. I uh, open the just open a new tab here and we need a Chrome extension named uh, free HTML editor for Gmail and source. Let me go back to English. Okay. So this is the Chrome extension that I am talking about free HTML editor for Gmail uh, by CloudSQ. Just follow the first link here. Click on that and uh, wait a few seconds and just uh, add to Chrome. Click on that after that just click on add extension. That's it. So the uh, extension successfully added here and uh, it uh, will take uh, you to uh, take you on to your Gmail and uh, uh, and this as asking for a login to cloud SQ account just click on login it will take some time and auto automatically logged in so you don't have to type any password or this. so it will reload and successfully logged in uh, cloud SQ account so um, we need uh, another thing to do here just click uh, your set the setting icon on your top right corner just click on that and go to see all settings and uh, after that go to advanced advanced tab here you can see this uh, after chat and meet tab go to advanced tab and you have to enable this template option here so you can use any custom made templates on your gmail just a click on enable and save changes that's it it will uh, reload again and we are all set now click on uh, let uh, let hold for a few seconds okay now click on compose uh, yes you are it uh, says here you can see here is uh, a little icon underneath here on the compost section is called free HTML editor for Gmail. It means it's successfully added to our Gmail. So you are seeing a, a small icon here, edit as HTML. Yes, you are thinking it's right, just click on that, it will load and open a new window like this. So here is a tab, here is a two tab called source and design. So now go back to our email template and so this is how we can input this. So we need to copy the HTML or CSS code uh, for input on our Gmail. Just click right on your keyboard, sorry, on your mouse and you can click here view page source or you can click control plus U and control plus a for selecting all the codes and control plus c for copy bar or you can right click and copy it here in some case if you are unable to copy it from your chrome browser or any other browser that you are using right now just uh, follow this one just uh, go to your template file here so this is the template so this is the template file of this template you need to um, open it using a code editor uh, open with a uh, visual studio code this is a code editor you can find it on your google just uh, not that tab. just uh, open a new tab and search vss code and you can see here uh, it's called download just click on the down it will automatically download to, uh, on your system that's it now go back to our template file uh, choose this after you successfully install the VSS, vs code and click open with visual studio code or you can simply uh, call that vss code vs code sorry why, why i am saying double s every time 
so this is the templates uh, email templates code that we need to copy just uh, follow this again control plus a or option plus a on your mac i guess and just copy it right right click in your mouse that's it so we are all done here go back to our gmail now you have to click on this source tab here and paste uh, paste the, the course that we copied and boom here is our template and you can see here the desktop preview it's look amazing here and this is the mobile preview you can preview this at a time so the we successfully pasted our html code and we can see the uh, template here now go back to our design tab it's time to edit yes so we are going to edit the text and images from here mm, let's change this images image for now click on that you can see here it's called edit image i'll uh, get uh, i'll get back to this option after the after we will change the image now click on image options here and go to, uh, first of all uh, remember the dimension uh, the size of this image is 158 just remember it we need it later just go to upload and uh, drop an image here so i am going to drop this image uh, which one i think this one yes i sorry sorry i mistake just uh, make this one just little bit uh, small and we can drop this here so it's uploading and boom uh, no we have to make the dimension previously uh, to 158 that i easy told you to remember right so i am now click on okay so just call back to down uh, you can uh, see we successfully changed the image now we are going to change the title of this image we can say that as a, a jbl hit forms right and we can change also also the price here uh, let's make it 185 or 180 that's the reasonable price you can buy from any shop i guess uh, just click anywhere around it and you can see the changes i told you to we will go back to the edit image option after we change the image so this is you can edit this is the sum option you can flip the photo vertically and flip the photo horizontally or you can edit the image from directly from here just click on edit image you can re-scope crop the image and you can resize the image or you can uh, rotate the image as you like and increase the brightness sharpen contrast and color levels etc etc this is a very helpful feature i thought i think now we are going to do the same here just click on image options and go to uploads and uh, drop this image here what's our image size 158 just click on ok uh, so here we can see successfully changed here and we can I'll just click anywhere so we can uh, say this carbon smart source we can make that carbon to a ming i guess ming smartwatch you can also play games uh, on that uh, smartwatch i guess uh, this is the, our first invention you can play any games on your uh, smartwatch uh step that as a side and we can now we have to change the description here so let's change the description here just uh, click some build some text uh, and we'll paste my text here i have my text 
go back to our e. this is the description text and we, oh, i will copy the text here and paste the text here and delete the uh, done part from here mm, sorry uh, it it's uh, it will take some time if you have a bit uh, if you made the changes uh, don't worry about that you will uh, show perfectly uh, because the images are hosted is uh, depend on your internet connection so you can see we successfully changed our description now uh, we good to go so we successfully changed our description here and add and we are good for now i don't have any changes um, if you have any changes you can make it uh, do the rest here and after that go click on close editor and we go we back to our default mail uh, gmail composer or uh, the we can see the html template uh, with our changes that we made our descriptions and our post it's so easy right now the uh, the uh, main part is uh, done but we need to save the, this email as a template because if you need to use it on the future you need to save it so how we can do that just uh, click a uh, give a subject name here my email template and so uh, follow my mouse here this is the most important part uh, you can see underneath uh, on your uh, right corner there is a three dot i hope you can see it there is a three dot called more option click on that now there is option called templates hover on that after that don't click on that just hover hover your mouse on that and move your mouse like that after that save as a template hover on that and save as a new template click on that so we are going to save this email as a new template uh, this is the subject name you can also change the name here uh, okay my email template you can i can say that my html email template and we can click on save now close the composer and let's uh, reload the template again click on compose and go back to the more options templates and we can see here my html template that we saved now for load the template just click on that and boom it's it's loaded the template is loaded successfully and you can i uh, use it anytime to send it to anyone and don't forget to uh, save the uh, save as a template every time just override uh, let me show you that if you have any other changes suppose if you and uh, have any other changes in the future then click on edit it as statement to load the editor and you can uh, make the make your changes here then close the editor and uh, go back to your templates and then save as a draft template again because we have to save the new changes for now then go back uh, save it in a you can see here override the template just override the template here and click on save so you can every time make changes and save it as a future users i think that's all for now if uh, this video help you a bit please uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel and uh, see you another time another day bye have a great day